featuring the home team, the Wichita Thunder, against the Springfield Spirit, Spirit Bantam A2 team. It is a beautiful day here in Wichita, a little windy outside. Wind's running about 30 to 40 miles an hour, it feels like, but uh, inside the rink, nice and cold. <laughs> so, thank you for spending your Sunday morning with us, and uh, hopefully we keep improving like we have the last game. Last night, we played an 8 o'clock game against the Highland Hills Jaguars from Colorado. We were down 6-1 in the third period, and our... Our, our kids fought back and uh, ended the score at 6-4. Some good goals late. We put some pressure on them and scored. So hopefully we continue on and uh, keep improving on this game. Unfortunately, this will be our last game. Um, we won't be able to play in the championship. So, But anyway, let's make this the biggest positive we can have and keep improving. Facing off, we got Maddie Brown. Luke LaGreece out on there as one wing. Caleb Turnett with the other wing. Braden Hageman on D and Casey DeLong on D. And immediately we're on D. Yep, but that's go. okay. We got Luke and Maddie going. Good good pressure and here comes the spirit coming through the neutral zone. Wichita team's a pretty good team. I think they're probably the odds on favor to win the championship here this weekend, no doubt. Casey getting back on the D. Wichita misses the goal and coming up the other direction. Puck back in the neutral zone. Line change. Tried to sneak the puck through, but it got picked up by Wichita. But good play by Hageman to get it back in. Jay Wynn back out there on the ice along with Yamil Darwich. Jay is he? hit there, Kaylee Thomas goes down with the Wichita player. Also, we have out there Jeb Schumacher and Logan White. Shot. Good, good, good stop by Colt Boyer there. Looked like maybe a little trip. Yep, they caught it. Trip on Jay Wynn, so uh, the Wichita player is going to the bench. Tell Jay took a little spill there, looked a little awkward. Jay's back up going, and Wichita player is going to the box for a minute and a half. You know, Dave, a lot of people would look at our first two games this weekend and think that we just overplayed ourselves and we went up too far in a tournament, but we've really kept in there. We have oh, yeah. not, we've had a lot of puck, puck, puck touches and a lot of time in our own zone, and that's what you want to see when you're really stretching your players. And for our team, we just want the ice time. We Absolutely. haven't been on ice, and uh, this will help get us ready for the our league. Shot. Oh, shot off the post. I'm not going to. And that was no shot there that went by Boyer out in front of the goal. But yeah, just get us back on the ice and get us playing. And obviously we're a few steps behind. Uh, we would have looked a little bit better if we would have had ice, but we can't we can't control that. So we'll just keep going with what we got. And it's a good experience for our kids. Logan passes it off to Jay. Jay takes it in the offensive end. Good shot. Oh, well, went off the side of the net. You can hear our coaches yelling. Trying to give our kids some encouragement. We have loud coaches, we have quiet coaches. We can hear the loud. Oh, oh. 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 Obviously, you'll hear quite the noise from the Wichita crowd. They bring a lot of folks here, which is great. I'm proud of their team. They get a pretty good team. They get a good hockey team. Ava Hartling out there on the ice, along with Maddie Brown, Bracken Potter, and then we got Hageman and DeLong again on D. Here comes Maddie around with the puck. Good stop by DeLong, keeping it inside the blue line. Puck goes back into the D end for the spirit. Along with the puck, he puts a stick on it, he hits it to the boards. Maddie Brown in the right place at the right time. And they're not, they won't be calling ice, so yes, maybe they will they call. Yes, they are calling ice because got, they are stupid. Yeah. We got tipped down here, but uh, anyway. 
coming back to our end. But the refs can't be perfect. Although they would like to think they are. <laughs> yeah, I'm talking to you, Kev. <laughs> All right. And face off, Matty Brown. Oh, no, excuse me. Yamil Darwich. Darvich. And here comes Jay Wynn again on the breakaway. Trying to get control of the puck there. We got a couple players in front of the net. Looks like Jay's trying to eye him up. There he goes, gets it in there. Good, good Just pass slash shot by Jay. That's a good, good idea. Oh, offside's good call by that official. I didn't know if he'd call that or not, but he did. He caught it. So yeah. good, good call. Face off and neutralize. Puck goes back into the DN for Wichita and Wichita gains control. Trying to set it up here and get people in the right positions. Nice little pass from Wichita. Good stop, my boy. Good stop. Back into the DN for Springfield. A little face off in front of Boyer. I think Boyer's left. Matty Brown in the middle there. Off Bracken Potter, or no, off Jason DeLong, I'm sorry, off his leg. They tried to center one, but it did miss. And uh, going back down in the, in the end for Wichita, back in their DN. Yeah. She can't see it. Can she hear it? She can't see it. Huh. We're trying, Maria. Can she hear us? I'm asking. Okay. Puck into the Springfield DN. Text Steve messaged me too. I don't I didn't see that. I don't know. Here comes Ava Hartling. Excuse me, that's, that's, Ke that's Kaylee Thomas, not Ava. Good pass by Jay there, gets it over to, to Jeb Schumacher. You hear our coaches, Coach Darvick saying four check, four check, trying to put more pressure on Wichita's uh, players down in the defensive end. Hopefully get the puck back. Oh, there goes Wichita on a little breakaway here. They got a wide open. Oh, offside. Good call again. Good call by the official. Yeah, nobody's seeing it. I don't know why. Oh. She said she only sees the replay of yesterday. Live. Can they hear us or not? No. Right. Okay. I'll shut up. 